Alright, let's talk about Starlink. This is one of the most talked about tech innovations in recent years, and for good reason. It's not every day that a company tries to blanket the entire planet with high-speed internet from space. You've seen the headlines, you've seen the memes, satellite internet beaming fast speeds from space, powered by an ever-growing constellation of SpaceX satellites. It almost sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie but it's happening right now, and it's changing the way people think about getting online. But is Starlink actually a game-changer, or is it just another overhyped tech promise? There's a lot of buzz, but let's dig into what it's really like to use Starlink day-to-day. -day. First off, what is Starlink? If you're new to the name, here's the quick rundown. It's SpaceX's big bet to deliver high-speed, low-latency internet anywhere on the planet, especially in places traditional broadband just can't reach. Think mountaintops, deserts, remote villages, or even the middle of the ocean. The idea is simple. If you can see the sky, you can get connected. No more waiting for cable companies to dig trenches or run wires to your house, but how does that actually play out in real life? Let's start with setup, because that's where most people get nervous with new tech. You get this pizza box-sized dish, a Wi-Fi router, and a bunch of cables. The hardware feels solid and well-designed, and it's clear SpaceX put some thought into making it user-friendly. Plug it in, point the dish at the sky, and you're online. There's no drilling, no complicated mounting, and no waiting for a technician to show up. Honestly, setup is surprisingly easy, even if you're not super techy. I've seen people of all ages get it working in under 30 minutes. The app walks you through everything, and you don't need a professional installer. It even helps you find the best spot for your dish, so you get the clearest signal possible. Now, what about speed? In my tests, Starlink consistently delivers between 100 to 200 megabits per second down and 20 to 40 up. That's fast enough for streaming 4K video, online gaming, and big file downloads. Latency? Usually around 30 to 50 milliseconds. That's low enough for most online games and video calls to feel smooth and responsive. That's not quite fiber level, but it's way better than most other satellite options, which often have laggy connections and much slower speeds. For streaming, gaming, or video calls, it just works. You can have multiple people online at once without major slowdowns, but it's not all perfect. There are some real-world limitations you need to know about. Starlink needs a clear view of the sky. If you've got a lot of trees, tall buildings, or mountains in the way, you might have trouble. Trees, tall buildings, or heavy storms can mess with the signal. Even a few branches can cause dropouts or slowdowns, so placement really matters. And during peak hours, speeds can dip. If lots of people in your area are using Starlink at the same time, you might notice things slow down, especially in the evenings. Plus, the hardware isn't cheap. Expect to shell out a few hundred bucks up front, plus a monthly fee that's higher than a lot of standard broadband. For some, that price is a deal breaker, especially if you already have decent internet. So who is Starlink really for? It's not trying to replace fiber in the city, but it's a lifeline for people who've never had reliable internet before. If you live in the city with gigabit fiber, it's probably not for you. You'll get faster speeds and lower prices sticking with what you have. But if you're in a rural area, off-grid or constantly on the move in an RV, Starlink is a total game changer. It's also great for people who travel or work remotely in places where cell service is spotty or non-existent. It's literally giving fast internet to people who never had it before. Students can attend online classes, farmers can access weather data, and families can finally stream movies without endless buffering. Bottom line, Starlink is legit. It's not perfect, but it's a massive leap forward for satellite internet. It's not perfect, but it's hands down the best satellite internet out there right now and it's only going to improve as more satellites go up and the network gets smarter. If you need reliable internet in hard-to-reach places, Starlink is worth a look. It's opening up new possibilities for people who were left behind by traditional ISPs. And with more satellites launching every month, it's only getting better. SpaceX is committed to expanding coverage and improving speeds, so the future looks bright. So, what do you think? Would you try Starlink, or are you waiting for something even better? game changer or just hype let me know your thoughts in the comments below drop your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe for more honest tech reviews thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one